Well today ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to be ranking the SCL Tones plugins from worst to best, let's get into it. So what is going on everybody, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray, I'm a guitar player here on YouTube, and I wanted to do this video because you guys often ask me, hey, what's your favorite STL Tones plugin, or do you like this STL Tones plugin more than the other one, etc, etc. So I wanted to kind of combi combine and compile all my thoughts into one video and uh, just have it here on the channel so you guys can check out if you in fact are curious about what I think about STL Tones' products. Before we get into today's list, I have to say, if you're brand new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd really, really appreciate it. I really would. I'm on the road to 30K. 30K by the end of the year is the goal, and I just hope you guys wouldn't mind making my day and hitting that subscribe button, all right? I got a ton of cool stuff here on the channel, so if you're brand new, again, if you want to make my day, you want to help me out, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, all right? Okay, now the list. Right off the bat, spoiler alert, there's no bad plugins and no bad products on the STL Tones catalog or website if you will all this stuff's phenomenal and top-notch and the industry standard it really is man it, they're they're right up there with like uh, maybe one other company that's like you know the heavy hitters in the industry so STL tones has quality stuff and lastly one plugin that I can't really rank because it's kind of completely different than all the other STL tones plugins is the ignite Libra that's the um, impulse response mixer if you will and uh, you know you can't really rank it against like a, a, an amp sim it's like it's a, it's apples to oranges STL tones predominantly has amp sims and Libra's kind of on its own and it's not really you know anything like any of the other plugins that STL Tones has to offer. All right, so that in turn leaves us with six plugins to rank from six to one. Let's dive on into it right now. Number six for me is Tonality Howard Benson. Now, like I said in the beginning, there's nothing bad about any of the STL Tones products. It's just for me personally, personal preference, you gotta put one at the bottom, right? And I would put the Howard Benson Suite down below at number six. Now, there is something really cool about this plugin that recently came out, what's called the Trilogy Pack, where um, Howard Benson, Mike Politnikoff, and uh, CLA all came together and created some, some cool new presets for this plugin, for Tonality Howard Benson. Um, and another thing that's really cool is it has, I believe it's a Bogner in there as well. And there's some Ola presets that, you know, geared towards what I like that is hard rock and metal. But at the end of the day, it's just, ah, I don't know, man. It's just more geared towards like rock and roll type of vibes, type of sounds. And while that's totally fine, for me, I really rarely use it for any of my projects or any of my sort of original material. Um, I use a lot um, heavier tones and you know Howard Benson although you can get how um, heavy tones out of the plugin excuse me um, it's just yeah, not for me but like I said there's a lot of cool stuff in here but it's really just geared towards rock and roll players in my own honest humble opinion all right number five is the STL ignite emissary now what's awesome about this plugin and it sets it higher than Howard Benson is it's completely free man it's awesome it has a two it's a two-part it has an amp and then it has a cabinet section or an impulse response section and uh yeah man it's just perfect perfect high gain tones and like i said completely free what more could you ask for man the only thing you really need with this plugin in my opinion is a noise gate apart from that this thing is sick and uh therefore i love it and i've used it quite a bit in my uh you know two years that i've had it give or take number four tone hub Tone Hub came out about, eh, what, maybe six, seven months ago at the time of this filming. And this is really cool and really innovative. This is like the equivalent, equivalent excuse me, of a, a plug-in version of a Kemper. And uh, it's just really something unique and kind of ahead of its time, I think. I think uh, this could be potentially the future of recording the guitar. And Tone Hub is really cool because it took all of STL Tones' Axe Effects and Kemper packs um, with all their individual artists and, you know, studios, whatever, combined them all together and put them in plugin format and uh fun fact about this plugin i helped build it last year at the you know about a year ago now i uh put in all the data and that was <laughs> that was a lot of work but anyway there's a lot of cool detailed features with tone hub and i think it's really really cool man so put it at number four not bad Number three, the most recent entry in the STL Tones product line is Amp Hub. Now this, like I said, at the time of this filming, it's the most recent and the most relevant um, with the STL Tones line. Amp Hub is basically having the ability to have limitless virtual rigs. It's a subscription-based plugin, and you know you can have you can buy individual amplifiers and pedals and cabinets and all this crazy stuff, or you can subscribe to the Amp Hub. You know entity i guess and uh, you have the means to have as many combinations of virtual rigs as you want to the best of my knowledge and i think that's really really cool i did a video on this plugin about uh, maybe like two months ago give or take 
And the thing that I love about it the most is it has a Fortin 33, and that is my favorite boost pedal of all time currently. And uh, so that was really cool. So that alone puts it at number three here on the list. But now we have two plugins left, top two, and they're both uh, tonality suites. So process of elimination, you know what's left. But for me, number two is tonality Will Putney. This is a heavy metal guitar players and bass players wet dream, man. It really is. This is so sick, man. It has four amplifiers and then a bass amplifier. Ton of cool pedals and cabinets and a ton of album presets from Will Putney's mixes and, and records himself. And it has a, a, a 5150. Uh, it has a Bogner Ubershaw. It has a Triple Crown from Mesa Boogie. And it has a Diesel VH4. <laughs> what more do you want? You know what I mean? So th that is just... Just such a sick, such a sick plug-in suite, and I've used it so much over the year and a half that I've had it, man. And uh, yeah, it is almost my favorite plug-in from STL Tones, but there's just one that's a little bit better, in my opinion. So, with that all being said, process of elimination, you know what's left. Number one, in my own honest opinion, is Tonality Andy James. Now, the reason why I love this plug-in, and the reason why it separates itself from the rest of the pack, the rest of the STL Tones line, is the clean and lead section. This plug-in suite has everything for me. It has a 5150 from EVH and it has a 6505 from PV. Basically, you know, if you're an Eddie Van Halen fan, Eddie Van Halen fanatic, as am I, rest in peace Eddie, <laughs> you know, it's just the perfect amount of, of high gain and, and diversity all at the same time. I think it's really, really sick. And then, you know, the thing that separates this plug-in suite from the other ones it has a really good clean section with a Vox AC30, and it has really smooth delay and reverb. I've said it years ago, like when STL Tones first came out. The thing that I really just kind of disliked with STL Tones' products is their reverb and delay. I think it's a little too, I don't know, harsh. And that, like I said, I'm not talking bad, I'm just my own, my own opinion. But the Andy James just has the smoothest and the creamiest delay and reverb out of the entire STL Tones catalog, in my opinion. And anytime that I'm practicing, anytime that I'm just, you know, jamming or riffing here, right here, right now, playing guitar, and I'm not really focused on anything, I'm just kind of just, I need a quick tone, 99% of the time, I always grab STL Tones Andy James Tonality Suite. And it's just something about the extreme tightness, the aggressiveness, it has the Revenant pedal built in, which is STL Tones' um, and Andy James's signature um, preamp pedal. Just, It's just really, really sick, man. It's like, in my opinion, I couldn't ask anything more. Although other plugins like Tone Hub and, and Amp Hub and even the Will Putney Suite has a ton of variety and ton of presets. I'm kind of a less is more type of guy where I like, I like just, I need like three tones, you know what I mean? And, you know, Tonality Andy James has a really good high gain tone, a really good high gain lead tone and wait <laughs> a high gain rhythm tone a high gain lead tone and a really nice pristine clean sound for me that's all i need so that's why it is at number one so everybody that's my ranking of the stl tones products again this is not to bash anything that stl tones has ever put out they've never done anything wrong in my opinion they've never put out anything you know uh, mediocre everything's top notch but you can't have them all be number one you have to pick and choose and this is just my own opinion man so if you have a different opinion and you have a different ranking, feel free to leave it down below and I'll meet you down in the comments. And let's just talk, man. Let's just talk. Let's just, let's just, uh, you know, hang out and, and you know, not, not be so, um, combative with our rankings and our opinions. This is just to have fun. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're brand new to my channel and you stuck around to the end, thank you so much. If you want to make my day, if you want to just, you know, just yeah, just make my day, man. You want to make me, you know, happy. <laughs> if you want to hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.